friends, how's everybody doing? I haven't been to the park for a while. Some of my hand friends have been asking, hey, when are you gonna do your next video? It's been a while. It's been probably over a month since I put out my last video. And two reasons, I've been pretty busy lately. And secondly, I needed some material that was something that interested me and hopefully would interest you too, where you guys would actually would spend the time and watch. So today I'm gonna to do an experiment I'm gonna hook up two of my favorite antennas. That's the 10 antennas and fed half wave antenna. I have two of them. And the idea is I'm gonna put them up about the same height, but I'm gonna point one one direction and I'm gonna point one 90 degrees a different direction. And my goal is to see if I find that they make a difference as far as directionality. Now I'm not gonna put it up too high where it becomes a vertical, but I'm gonna have, have both antennas as a sloper. So I'm gonna hook this uh, equipment up and then we'll go from there. So let's get going. Okay, I have both antennas up and running about 90 degrees apart from each other. And they're both 10 antennas, um, infant half wave antennas. They have almost the same wire. One's 20 gauge, one's 18 gauge. I don't think that's gonna make that big of a difference. I try to make things as even as possible. And I check the SWR, I have an AB switch for the radio and I check the SWR and it's all similar in um, all the different frequencies I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna give it a shot. So let's see what happens. Okay, I cleared the frequency. So I am ready to call CQ. CQ, 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 hello CQ. CQ, 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 hello, hello CQ. Whiskey Alpha 6, Quebec X-ray Alpha portables call CQ, CQ, CQ. Hey, good afternoon, Whiskey Alpha 6 station. Uh, this is Kilo Foxtrot 4. Whiskey, November, Charlie. Yeah, this is Keith, WA6QXA, Keith, Portable, Long Beach, California. Name and location, please. Okay, very good. Uh, Long Beach, California. A, a really good signal. Uh, um, uh, you did fall out that time a little bit. A little QS paper got you. But that's okay. I think we can probably make it happen uh, for a while I got you here. My name is John. Uh, my name is John, and I am located in the central part of North Carolina. Back to you, sir. Okay, John, very good. Hey, I've got two, if you don't mind, John, I've got two antennas, exactly the same two antennas. I'm running an in-fed half-wave antenna. There are 10 antennas in-fed half-wave antennas. But I got them pointing at 90 degrees different angles, and I got a, you know, a switch here. So I'm trying to determine if directionality, if, it, if, one bed is what, if one's better than the other. So I'm gonna flip over and see if you notice a difference, John, do you mind? No, I, I think that'd be a great experiment to do, especially since you have two of them there that you can test against each other. And, uh, yeah, by all means, uh, the signal report I have for you now is 5 by 7. Uh, for the most part, you're holding at a S7 uh, for me. So go ahead and make your swap, and I'll see how you're doing the other end. Thank you. Okay, I'm on um, antenna number two now. I'm going to switch to antenna one. Now I'm on antenna one, antenna one. Testing one, two, three. John, do you notice any difference? Yes, uh, uh, Antenna one is, is worse. Uh, your signal went down to about an S4, about an S4 on antenna number one. Um, the uh, the first antenna, uh, the one prior to this one, uh, your signal did come up to a five by nine. If you could please switch back over to that one so I can confirm I've got the right antenna. Back to you. Yeah, I just switched back to the, the original antenna and received wise the exact same um, conclusion, John. So. Yeah, you know, these things are somewhat directional and I'm trying to figure out uh, what works best, you know. They say if you're pointed at north-south, it's kind of more, uh, more directional east-west, so that's what I'm trying to determine. Okay, that's really good because, you know, I've, um, I have heard so many different stories about directionality of these wire antennas. The antenna you're listening to now is an in-bed half-wave also, and it is, uh, let's say, according to the compass, it probably is oriented, uh, the antenna itself, is uh, northeast to southwest. Uh, that's its basic uh, orientation. I didn't try to point it in any particular direction. I just had a convenient tree out here behind the house. So that's the way, uh, that's the way it got installed. So back to you. So antenna two, which is the one that seems like it's the loudest, I have that pointing southeast. And then I have the antenna one pointing northeast, basically 90 degrees apart from each other. And so that's the configuration. Back to you, John. Okay, well, that, that, that's, that's a really good experiment you was able to pull. So I'm glad you was able to do that. Um, you know, the uh, the uh, the east, the west coast is, is usually outside of, or, or let's just put it this way, I don't get very many contacts to the west coast at all. 
I don't really try to, but at the same time, they just don't happen as much as I, as I get uh, up and down the eastern seaboard here. Many, many contacts all up and down the east coast here, and, uh, and I can always reliably do that. So uh, the conditions, of course, on 10 meters is going to, you know, it's going to change from time to time. But it is really, really good that uh, you was able to uh, make the trip back over to me, especially with the signal strength that you, uh, you have. Now, the QS Baker is not a big problem at all, but it is happening. Thank you. Awesome, John. Well, you're my first contact, so I appreciate you coming back, and um, you really helped me out with this little experiment. So, yeah, we're going from east coast, west coast to east coast, east coast to west coast. So that's a pretty good drive. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, I really like, I really like doing this. I mean, this is just, um, I mean, the long distance contacts are great. I really enjoy talking to people close by. It really does not matter, but it is. But it's especially good to catch up with my friends over on the west coast. Uh, I wish that it, um, the configuration here would allow me to do it more often. And you know, uh, with the experiments that you have there, it probably gives me some idea of uh, any um, changes I can make to my antenna set up here, and uh, maybe something, or maybe something better will happen with it. So at least help me to get out to the uh, to the west a little better uh, than it does. But anyway, this is all one big experiment. So I'm glad your experiment's working well for you. So I'll let you go for now, John. But it's been a real pleasure talking to you. So with that, this is Whiskey Alpha Six Quebec X-ray Alpha. Gonna say seven three. This is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-ray Alpha QRZ. Kilo Quebec 4 Golf Hotel Echo. Kilo Quebec 4 Golf Hotel Echo. Thank you for coming back. This is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-ray Alpha Portable. The name is Keith in Long Beach, uh, Long Beach, California. Back to you. Roger, Roger. My QTH is Camden, South Carolina. All right, South Carolina. What's the uh, What's the name? My name is Jason. J-A-S-O-N, Jason. All right, Jason, I just spoke to uh, John in North Carolina just before you. We we're getting a pipeline or something like that. Um, thank you for coming back to me, um, Jason. Roger, Roger. Yeah, so uh, I'm using a infant antenna, and uh, last night I put it vertical, and now I'm able to reach you guys. It's kind of odd, um, but so far so good. Oh, that's a Roger. Hey, Jason, I have two antennas hooked up, the exact same antennas, but I have them um, 90 degrees apart. So I'm going to switch antennas and see if you can tell me if one's louder than the other, if you don't mind, Jason. Roger, Roger. Right now, you are five and five. Okay, so that's antenna number two, we'll call it. And I just switched to antenna one, antenna one. Back to you, Jason. Roger, Roger. You are five and two. Five and two. Okay, I went back to Antenna 2. That's the exact same thing with North Carolina, John. Uh, antenna 2 seemed to work better than Antenna 1. I'm doing a little experiment to see, you know, the directionality of these two antennas. I'm using an infed half-wave antenna by 10 antennas and um, run that as a sloper, and both of them are the exact same antenna otherwise. So I'm kind of doing an experiment, um, checking this out. Roger, Roger. I'm using a 10 antenna infed half-wave, 17, 17 feet. Um, what, uh, what rig are you using? I got a Yesu 891. Glad I was able to, uh, keep with you. Um, I'm going to say 7-3 and, uh, have a, uh, a wonderful day. All right, Jason, thanks again for coming back to me. 7-3 to you. This is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-Ray Alpha QRZ. Kilo 4 Echo Echo Hotel. Kilo 4 Echo Echo Hotel. You have Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-ray Alpha Portable. My name is Keith in Long Beach, California. Back to you. Roger, Roger. Name on this end is Joe. Uh, I'm gonna have you about a five-five on my meter, but uh, very good audio, very readable. Joe, tell me your location. Roger. Uh, we are in Southeast Alabama, and uh, I have a five-five on the meter. Um, sounding good this afternoon. Okay, hey, Roger, um, Joe, thank you. I have two antennas hooked up. They're exactly the same antennas, but I have them pointing 90 degrees apart from each other. So I'm going to go to the other antenna, if you don't mind, and see if one's louder than the next. Maybe you can let, help me out and let me know which one you like better. Will do. Okay, so this is antenna two, we'll call it. And now I'm antenna one, antenna one. Testing one, two, three, Joe. I believe the uh, antenna one, or antenna two was a little bit stronger. Um, definitely in my direction, antenna two was a little bit stronger. Okay, you're my third contact. I'm back on Antenna 2 right now. And the first contact, I talked to North Carolina. Then I just took, got uh, off talking to South Carolina. Now you're in Alabama. And all three of them are saying um, Antenna 2. So, you know, I think the directionality is working best um, 
south, you know, with the, the one the antenna number two. Uh, Roger, if you do a north-south orientation on the other one, you should be covered. Yeah, this one's pretty much, the antenna two is pretty much southeast and the other one's northeast. And so they're infant half wave slopers uh, by 10 tenna and I have it about 40 feet up in a tree at the park. Roger, I'm talking to you on a, an off center fed dipole and I'm about 40 feet in the air, but permanent installation. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot, Joe. And uh, for coming back to me and helping with the experiment, this is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-Ray Alpha Portable. We're gonna say 7-3. 73, Kilo 4, Echo Echo Hotel. This is Whiskey Alpha 6, Quebec, X-Ray Alpha, QRZ. This is Kilo Papa 4, Kilo Papa 4, November, Echo Lima, November, Echo Lima. Kilo Papa 4, November, Echo Lima. This is Whiskey Alpha 6, Quebec, X-Ray Alpha, Portable. My name is Keith in Long Beach, California. Where's your name, what's your name and location, please? Okay, my name is Nelson, November Echo Lima Sierra Oscar. November Nelson, I'm here in Puerto Rico, Iceland. You are 5558. Five, five, yeah, uh, Nelson, you're hitting me with a 5858 five, eight also. I'm portable in Long Beach, California, which is about 25 miles south of Los Angeles, California. Yourself? Oh, very good. Uh, you are portable. Okay, Kate, okay. Thank you for responding my call with the Alpha 6 Quebec. X-ray Alpha Kilo Papa 4 November Echo Lima Gutierrez 73, my friend. Thank you so much for coming back to me. Kilo Papa 4 Nelson Echo Lima. This is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-ray Alpha. Gonna say 73. 73, my friend. I press it to contact. WA6 QXA Portable QRZ. Kilo 3 Charlie X-ray Germany K3C 6G. Kilo 3 Charlie X-ray Germany. Got it that time. This is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-ray Alpha. The name is Keith Portable in Long Beach, California. Back to you. Roger, Roger. Okay, you're 5'9 in Maryland. My name is Mike and we're, uh, we're mobile, stationary mobile, mobile nonetheless. And we got 25 watts here. Roger, Mike. Okay. Yeah, well, you're, you're mobile and I'm portable. So I'm uh, from Long Beach, California. So you're doing a great job. I'm actually doing a kind of an experiment. I have two different antennas, the exact same antennas. But I have them pointed two different directions, 90 degrees apart. So I'm going to flip to the other um, antenna and see if you can maybe tell me if one's louder or the other. So this is antenna two right now. Antenna two, do you notice a difference? Uh, the second one's a little bit sharper, a little bit stronger. Okay, I'm back to number two, number two. Okay, very good. Yeah, I've talked to three other people so far. Uh, the other antennas work better. So it has to do with, you know, lo location, I believe. So that's, um, it's a very interesting experiment that I'm, I'm trying to figure out here. Well, you both, both sound good. The second one is just a, a wee tad stronger. All right, Mike. Well, thanks for coming back to me. And I hope you're driving safely out there. And I really appreciate you coming back. All right, Keith. appreciate the contact. I'm glad we can help out with your experiment today. Uh, 73, you have a great rest of your day. K3CXC clear. All right, same to you, Mike. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 6, Quebec, X-ray Alpha Saint 7-3. WA6, QXA, portable, QRZ. November X-ray 1, Quebec. One. November X-ray 1, Quebec. Come back to Whiskey Alpha 6, Quebec, X-ray Alpha, portable. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you were 5'9", but you dropped way down now, but I'm set up at a park myself at uh, Panola Mountain State Park about to um, Start doing a little bit of parts of the air, so I'll put you in the log. Back to you. Okay, yeah, I, I do POTA. Uh, POTA. I'm mainly just a hunter at this point in time. So thank you for that. Yeah, this it's Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X-ray Alpha. I'll look at your, uh, what's your location? Uh, what state? I'm in Georgia. Okay, and the name? Name here is Don, Delta Oscar November. Okay, hey Don, if you don't mind, I have two antennas, the exact same antennas, but I got them pointing 90 degrees apart. It's an infed half wave sloper. So I'm going to turn it to the other antenna and see if I'm a difference in, um, you know, loudness. So I'm on, I'm on antenna two. Antenna two, do you notice a difference? Um, let's just say it was about 20 times louder. The first one or the second one? Uh, the one you're on right now is much louder. Okay, very good, Don. Well, thank you. Okay, roger that. Well, whichever antenna you're on now is working to the East Coast. The other one was sounding good, too, but it faded way down. So, but anyway, that one's just booming in here. Yeah, so they're exactly the same antennas. They're 10 antennas 
um, half wave in fed. Both of them are in the tree about 40 feet, but I just have them angled at 90 degrees difference, you know, so that's the difference. Hey, Don, I know you want to get your POTA action going on, so I'll let you go. I appreciate you coming back and good luck with the POTA. This is Whiskey Alpha 6 Quebec X ray. Alpha gonna say 7 3. All right, 7 3. So, again, thinking about the experiment of the two antennas, again, there are 10 antennas, antennas, both exactly the same antenna. Um, similar wire on them. One's 18 gauge, one's 20 gauge. Both of them were up in the tree about 40 feet. One was south, one was pointing southeast and the other one was pointing northeast basically, about 90 degrees apart. And so I definitely could determine and notice that there was a difference between directionality between the two. So uh, the experiment was a very successful, give me some great information. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.